Do you like an Aperol spritz? Today, I am going to show you the way to make it properly. I didn't create this, I watched a video from someone in Australia do this and it's been a game changer. Hey guys, welcome back. So, I've been making Aperol spritzes for probably 16 years and I can't believe that it's only now that I've realized that I've made it the wrong way. Uh, I learned this off a video on the Australian Bartender Magazine Facebook page by a fellow by the name of Stefano Cantino from Maybe Frank here in Australia. And I wish I had watched this ages ago. So I'm gonna show you the way that he did on his video so that we're all doing it properly. And we start with 60 mils of Aperol. Okay, so it's an Aperol spritz. There are a lot of different sort of variations of the Aperol spritz, but if you are doing the Aperol, make sure that you use Aperol. 60 mils, really easy. If you haven't heard of Australian Bartender Magazine, I'm going to put a little bit of a link uh, in our comments section. Check them out because uh, as a bartender that started many years ago, I learned a lot of the things that uh, I do nowadays just by following these guys because they're legends in, the, in our industry here in Australia. So as you can see, 90 mils. I would normally then add my ice and so forth, but uh, the way that we do it here is we will now add 90 mils of Prosecco. However, in Australia, I'm not sure for the rest of you guys around the world, we will have a little line on our glass that says 150 mils. So 60 mils plus 90 is 150. So I'm just gonna to top up the Prosecco up to that 90 mil mark right there. Okay. And then just a little bit of soda water. Don't put too much in there because I think it, I don't wanna water down my Aperol spritz too much. Maybe 10 mils, a little bit of a splash, just like that. All right. Seems weird, doesn't it? Better. How easy is that? So, all we're doing now is we're adding the ice to it. Don't be scared to use a fair bit of ice in your cocktail. And I'm going to use a couple orange wedges right there. Gonna give it just a little bit of a stir. How good does that look? I used to make it the wrong way because I would build it and then add the soda water and the Prosecco on top after I added the ice and it would look something like that. As you can see, very watery at the top, the color of the Aperol at the bottom. This is the way to absolutely make it. Thank you, Stefano, Australian Bartender Magazine. And guys, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.